Hey Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. Um, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. This can be either your situation or your partner's. It really just depends. Sometimes the energy is flipped. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you'd like to receive alerts for when I'm posting my readings. Also, too, I love reading your comments as long as they're not hella fucking rude. And um, I love interacting. I try to respond to everybody's comments and... Um, I really feel like, you know, when we're able to kind of talk back and forth, it's also sharing a level of energy and maybe we're more connected. Um, if this reading does resonate and you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please feel free to do so at accurateasfktarot.com. Uh, the link will be in the description below. And with that being said, Cancer, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. All right. Who is uh, Cancer dealing with romantically? Who's dealing with Cancer romantically? Okay, four of pentacles. So that is Capricorn, which is funny because you guys were like all up in Capricorn's reading. I do you want to say that? Um, or it can be somebody that you're not with or somebody that you're focused on or you're trying to manifest or, you know, maybe you and this person are not together at the moment. Or this could be definitely a new beginning. Um... What, how, how does uh, Cancer feel about their person of interest romantically? How do they feel about this person? Okay, Queen of Wands, right? Leo, Sag, or um, Aries. Queens tend to be the cardinal signs, so this is definitely Aries. And Queens are also water, so that also can be Cancer as well. All right, what is, uh, what is the situation or uh, what's the issue or situation with this person? What's going on romantically? Okay, five of cups. Possibly you guys are coming from a place where maybe there's a loss of stability here. Uh, possibly some type of emotions that are overrunning or, you know, definitely something that's causing a level of imbalance and aggression. And this is uh, Scorpio. And it's funny because as I was talking about it, the Two of Cups just flew out. So I'm going to put it back because I don't know what question that was for. What is uh, an external influence or block for these two people romantically? What's blocking these guys romantically? For Cancer and the person of interest. Okay, Seven of Swords. Possibly an Aquarius. Um, I mean, we can get more in depth in that in a second. What's unexpected that happens this week for Cancer? Two of Cups. Okay, see why I put that shit back? Uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Gemini. Um, what is the weekly outcome for Cancer this week? With love and romance, what is the best potential outcome? This Cancer and their person. Okay. Eight of Wands. So there is some type of communication that's coming in, Cancer. Now, here's the situation, okay? I feel like for whatever reason, it could possibly be on urine, Cancer, or it can be with a Scorpio, Pisces, or you, or even with a uh, fire sign, Aries, Sag, or Leo. I feel like in the past, for you and this person, Things were not manifesting or going as fast as you wanted it to. There was level, like things were just kind of mundane. There was stillness. It's like, yeah, there was offers being made, right? But it was still a, it was still challenging, right? And 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 it wasn't what you wanted. That's kind of how I feel. And I also think too, with the four of cups, it's like four of cups is definitely cancer, but it's like, it wasn't good enough. Like you needed more than what was being offered to you. Now your person of interest is over here with the four of pentacles. So you're over here, four of cups in it. They're over here, four of pentacles. You know, this person probably is stubborn. Um, this person possibly can be a, uh, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, or even to, uh, wow. Did you guys just hear that? My candle literally just started bubbling. Yo, that was weird as shit. 
I'm over here hell creeped out. Like it literally just started bubbling out of nowhere. Okay, anyways, um, sorry, I'm like, woo. So I do think that this person is probably a little bit immature. I feel like you guys are still in a phase where you're growing. Um, maybe they're, they don't, they don't know everything about you. You know, they can be a little bit challenging at times. They are somebody who is giving though, or they want to give you, or you want something from them. And they tend to be the one that's more active. I do think that this person, uh, if it is a Gemini for whatever reason, you know, they're still in a seeking phase, right? They're still trying to, you know, uh, challenge you or challenge your ideas. And there's a level of like understanding that this person is trying to have come across. Give me more information on their person of interest. Ace of Cups. Maybe they've expressed to you recently like, hey, I'm really into you. Um, I want to be with you. You know, what do you think about this? Do you see this cup right here? Are you in or are you out? Because this can be a, like, you want to be together? Like, maybe they've expressed something to you recently. Maybe it was something that they were frustrated with that they were holding on to. And finally, they just popped off and told you exactly what they were thinking or what they were feeling. Um, another characteristic of Cancer's person of interest. Seven of Wands. Uh, this can be somebody that, you know, you have arguments with. This can be somebody that is definitely aggressive at times. Uh, maybe this is somebody who feels like they constantly have to be on the defensive, blocking things out. You know, they're, 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 you feel like cancer, like they're not as reliable as you are. Um, and... It's just easy for them to be able to like pack up and walk away from a situation. Or you feel like you're always having to fight with them. Like there's always like a level of fighting here. Possibly with a Gemini or a Virgo because you do have the Magician. Also too, I do think that there is a level of courtship here. I know that sounds crazy, but... I think that this is a new beginning for the two of you. Even if you guys have dealt with each other in the past, there's something coming about here where it's like, it, there's a level of newness here. Uh, it's like the beginning. It's like getting back to a level of raw emotions, um, possibly from, you know, Eight of Swords. Like Gemini is coming up heavy in here. Maybe this person has Gemini in their chart or you have Gemini in your chart. But it's almost like, you know, this person is a lot in their head about what ifs, right? Well, you know, okay, so if I do this, then what happens? Like, well, what happens, you know, if this person goes back to the other person? What happens if there's another, you know, another party? Like, their mind is always running. They're highly intelligent. Uh, they are intuitive, but in a different way. It's more so of a logical intuition versus like an emotional intuition. How you feel about this person is the Queen of Wands with the Two of Wands. So you guys can possibly be at a distance. Um, this person, you know, may you may feel like they are mature, you know, or they have a lot of maturing to do. Sometimes it is more so of like, come on, like really? Like either it's a, like they have some feminine traits and I don't mean that. So like if, you, if, if you're dealing with a man, you're like, no, there's nothing feminine about him. Meaning like sometimes like they'll pout and you have to be the one to kind of go smooth it over. They'll be the ones to not talk to you, you know, where you're constantly trying to reach out. You're more so the aggressor in a situation. Uh, you know, th that's how you feel. You feel like you're always the one that's having to give. I do think that you're highly attracted to this person. I do think that, you know, you feel like this person has a decision to make about, you know, the partnership between the two of you guys. Um, possibly dealing with a Capricorn because you do have the devil here. I do think that you guys are highly sexually attracted to each other. You guys are possible soulmates. You guys are definitely even a karmatic relationship, but there's a lot of sexual energy here. There's a lot of wands. There's a lot of feisty fieriness. 
and then you have the Knight of Cups. So that's why I feel like for you, it's like you're drawn to them. And maybe like they're not as aggressive as you are. So you're always the one that's constantly coming and trying to give them something, right? You have more so of the masculine energy versus what they do right now or vice versa, right? Also too, something that's interesting is, uh, you know, the night is also can be air too. So, you know, this person can also be seeking you, right? Nine of Wands, maybe they're watching you, maybe they're, or you're watching them, you find them a little bit challenging where it's like, listen, we have to move forward from whatever we're stuck in right now in order to have that forward progression. Because if we stay in this place, like it's not gonna work. You know, it's like there needs to be a level of movement. And I think that you feel that strongly with this person. And I think that it's, it's, it's being stopped because there's a level of doubt here, which is weird. Um, why, why, why is there a level of doubt with this person? Because of a tower, maybe there's a tower moment, maybe there's a level of betrayal here. I think for you, it's like you, they either like, this has to change the situation between you and them has to change because it can't stay like this forever. It, it has to. And with the tower being here, that's definitely, uh, Aries Capricorn or Scorpio, in my opinion. Um, what's the energy of the tower? Why, why is it, why, why is the tower there? Doubt, maybe a moving situation, five of cups. There's a level of guilt here, oddly. I, I don't know why. Something's very imbalanced. Something's very challenging about this situation. What are they guilty about? Why does cancer feel like they're guilty? Because of the three of swords or some type of end to relationship or you guys possibly think that they have some type of third party Libra that's definitely Libra um, possibly that you know maybe they have a family maybe they're working with somebody else um, maybe you guys were trying to be you know uh, inspector gadget and found out some information you didn't want to find out and it could possibly be that this person had another relationship while you guys were together. Maybe they were talking to somebody else, but there's definitely something here that's hurt you. There was definitely a tower moment between the two of you guys. And I don't think that you're necessarily over that with them. So you're kind of over here, like side-eyeing them. Situation is the five of cups. So the fact that, the, you know, this somebody is guilty. Why is the five of cups here? because of the nine of wands. I mean, do you guys see how much these two are all running in with one another? You had the nine of wands. What was caused by, you know, the, the stillness, the doubt, the self doubt, not having any forward movement. It was the five of cups. What was causing the guilt? The tower. Boom. I mean, can't make this shit up. So I, I just think that this, you know, somebody feels bad about what they've done and instead of rectifying their actions, it's like they just feel like the results are inevitable. Like there's nothing that they can do about it at this moment that, you know, they're just kind of stuck. They're being blocked. You could actually physically be blocking them or they could be blocking you. There's Libra again. Um, you know, it's like there is conflict. What is causing the conflict? It possibly is because you guys aren't talking. It's possibly because you were seeking and you found the truth out. Um, you learned about a situation that maybe this person had another partner. So now you need time to sit here and reflect and be like, what the fuck? Um, I just think for you, it's now like, okay, well, what else is going on? Well, shit, now there's all these other options with what the hell is really going on. How does Capricorn or how does Cancer feel 
about, sorry, I keep calling you Capricorn. I just did Capricorn. Uh, and for those of you guys that are dealing with Capricorns, oddly enough, you guys have a lot of the same cards. So I would go check out that Capricorn reading because it is pretty interesting. Um, okay, so how does Cancer feel about the situation currently? Ooh, eight of cups, seven of cups. Okay, so you have the eight of cups right here. So see how she's kind of pulling away from him? Like she's like, no, time for me to get my shit and leave. And then you have the seven of cups as well. But the seven is leading to the eight. So there is a level of progression here with what's going on. Um, now, as far as this is concerned, you know, I think that you had ideas of how this situation with this person was going to go. Um, and maybe this person isn't necessarily who you thought they were. I don't know why I think that like there, like something that once flowed and made sense to you. There was a level of fluidity between the two of you guys. Cause you have the seven of cups, right? It's like, now you're uncertain. Now you view this person as highly unreliable. And for you, it's like, you're, you don't even want to try to get to understand or know why this situation is going or why it's happening and and maybe this person is being very reserved right maybe maybe they're not necessarily opening up a lot here um but it's interesting because it's saying that also too with the eight of cups beneath all of this that's going on right beneath this 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 surface layer of shit right because that's what it is um you know, you're going to find that this person, that there is a right choice and that this person actually can be an honest and sincere person, oddly enough. Um, and that maybe they just made a mistake, but I think cancer, that's going to take you some time to really, really think about that and figure, figure out whether or not, you know, you want to settle down with this person or if you don't. You know, or if you want to walk away and have a level of harmony and rebalance with inside of yourself, right? But there's something definitely here with with that. Um, the unexpected or uh, what's really blocking you guys is a seven of swords. Something was expressed. There was some, again, some type of betrayal, a lie. Um possibly over a Leo or something you feel like you really, really, really had to take a step back and really hone in your ego and really, really calm yourself down and, and, and try to get things completely settled in stone prior to reacting. You know, there was something, what was being said here with the seven of swords, the empress family, talks about a family, Taurus or Libra. Possible pregnancy, possibly just a whole other life. Maybe this person is just building with somebody else. Maybe this person is, you know, contributing somewhere else. Or maybe, you know, you find out you're pregnant. How does Cancer feel about this? Ace of Swords, you, you do, you end up with a level of clarity here. It's like you find out some information with this unexpected that's coming in that you feel like, you know, this is a beginning and this is possibly, you know, a unity between the two of you. And I do think that there is a level of raw emotions here. Uh, again, Libra, maybe this person expresses marriage. There's something here about really setting the scales. Seventh house of partnership, right? It's, it, it's really honing in on home. Really honing in on duality. You know, what is dividing you guys? What is your guys' conflict? How do you guys restore this balance, right? 
How does uh, Cancer feel about the unexpected? Three of Cups. There could be a passion or success. Maybe you find out that you're pregnant. So maybe the fighting goes to the side or you find out that you and this person, you know, are supposed to be together. And, you know, you guys have that talk and work things out. Six of Wands. You see, it's like... Maybe you guys just had to like hash it out. Maybe you guys just had to have this conversation. You guys had to have an open and honest conversation with one another in order to have that forward movement. Because it's like, for whatever reason, whatever said here with this seven of swords, you guys and this empress, you guys are now growing closer together. Um... Or it can be the fact that you guys are growing apart. It can be either or, I feel like. But as confusing as it is, it's like there's something that's definitely confirmed here. And I think that there's something, if somebody was questioning something, it's like that that, that question is answered. One more time. How does uh, Cancer feel about uh, the unexpected or what's blocking? Ace of Pentacles. You guys feel like this is a new beginning. This is something. This is something that's opening up this relationship. This is something that's definitely you know grounding. This has to do with you know your home, your health, your work, your money. I think that you're happy about whatever you find out or whatever the, this unexpected is. So those of you guys that do have the potential of getting pregnant, you can find out this week that you're pregnant. That's a possibility. You guys can find out this week that maybe this person wants to commit to you. Maybe they're like, hey, listen, I fucked up. I want to make sure that you feel comfortable enough with moving forward with me. I want to settle down with you. Like, I want this relationship to transform and I want us to move on together. Like, let's let's get married. Let's do something. Like, I don't, I don't want to be at odds with you anymore. I'm tired of being at odds. So... Which is which is great, but that's coming in as the unex or that's coming in as the external influence or the block. So what was originally blocking you guys was a heated argument or somebody lying or something, some type of heated argument where somebody says something. Somebody has to really kind of tame it down, hone it in. What is it about the Empress? There's a level of clarity, and now there's a level of justice. Okay, so we're all on board. All right. Unexpected is actually the Two of Cups with the Magician. Okay, so Gemini, Virgo, there's something that's being manifested here. It's a new beginning between the two of you guys. And it's really about, you know, your relationship, your romantic life, your emotions, your, your spirituality, your life, right? I definitely feel like this is very encouraging and inspiring. Um, I think that you feel good about the unexpected. Again, it possibly could be a surprise offer here. You have a page, uh, the page of cups. So Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It also can be any of the earth elements too, right? Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Um, but there, it, it's a surprise. It's something that is growing. It's something that's growing. So whether it's a love offer that's continuing to grow, whether it's a situation that was in the beginning and maybe you didn't know where it was going, it's like things are opening up. You're beginning to see the bigger picture here. And I do think that this person is offering you a level of love. Okay, Queen of Swords. You know, they're vocalizing it to you. They're having that communication that mature way of expressing what they want, expressing how they feel. You know what I mean? The Queen of Swords is also, you know, a uh, cancer energy because queens are not only is this um, Ver Libra, but it's also cancer as well. So that is you, right? And maybe that's you accepting it and you communicating that back to them. How does cancer feel about this? Six of Cups. Okay, hello. 
again, kids, uh, memory, you know, love, returning to a good place, having something here that, you know, like it, and again, this shot out reverse, six of swords is reversed. And this card is all about like level of newness, trying to get to know your person. But because it's reversed, it's like you have the two sixes here, right? It's a reunion. It's back to peace, back to harmony, back to things being rebalanced after these fucked up five of cups. So I do think that you, you like that. You like the fact that, you know, there is something that's being restored here back to your family and back to a level of harmony within inside of your home. For you guys' outcome, you do have the eight of wands. So obviously some type of communication is coming in. Something's coming in quickly. I do want to say that maybe unexpected, maybe, you know, something that forces you to settle down, possibly, you know, a level of energy or drive that's, that's very creative for you. And, uh, for those of you guys that this has brought enough clarity, I love you and, um, talk to you guys later. Peace.